Many thanks for staying with us. Now, New Central Television has announced Kayodi Akintemi as Managing Director to spearhead the channel's next stage of expansion and innovation. In a statement made by Akintemi on Breakfast Central, his objectives include improving the caliber of reporting and rekindling viewers' interest, growing digital presence and encouraging excellent work culture as a reflection of his strong vision for the New Central brand. Omolola Ololadi tells us more in this report. It is a new era for the management and staff of New Central Television, Africa's foremost pan-African TV station, as Kayode Akintemi joins the team as the managing director and editor-in-chief to oversee channels operations, strategic direction and content development. The company is confident that Akitemi, with his wealth of expertise in the broadcast industry, working with both international and local media houses, as well as acquiring knowledge on leadership and corporate governance from Harvard University, amongst other institutions, is well placed to lead New Central to new height. During his first appearance on the station's flagship and morning program, Breakfast Central, Akintemi expresses his enthusiasm for this new role while revealing that the station will improve its caliber of content and programming with a key keen focus on the Nigerian landscape and Africa at large. I have seen some parts of this country that it's unbelievable in terms of the quality, the air, the atmosphere, the ambience, and nobody is telling these stories. Oh my word! We should be telling the stories. I want the untold stories of Nigeria, first and foremost, and the untold story of the continent of Africa. I've traveled at least about 20 African countries, most likely more. So I've seen those places. I'd love to see more being said about Africa. The new managing director and editor-in-chief says the station will be heavy on developmental and investigative journalism going forward. We have to do investigative journalism. We cannot have a budget that looks like what we have currently. Yes. We cannot have a situation where you, people are in the National Assembly and they're not questioned, they're not put on the hot seat. Our job is to put them on the hot seat. So there's a side where we will challenge what the government is doing and speak truth to power. But there is the other side that is going to be about developmental journalism where we collaborate with government. Akitemi urged the station's esteemed viewers to anticipate exciting development as New Central TV solidifies its place as a top news channel dedicated to providing accurate, dependable and significant news coverage and reportage. Omolola Ololade, reporting for News Central. Well, a report carefully and excellently put together by Omolola Ololade. Um, joining me in the studio now is the newly appointed Managing Director, Editor-in-Chief of News Central Television, Kayodi Akintemi. Thank you so much for joining us. So good to be here. It's so again. good to have you join so us. So good. Lesson. Officially welcome. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, it's exciting to hear the plans that you have for the station. And uh, it's even more exciting to see that you're bringing you're trying to bring life into the station, you know, comparing it to the things that we've seen across the nation and how much more we should be on our toes as a news station. Now, um, the question is, and I think, first of all, I'm more interested in finding out, how do you intend uh, to ensure that this station finds a way to navigate its way through the ever-evolving quest for knowledge and quest for information in the media space? No, uh, quest for knowledge quest for information, that is something that has to be intentional. It cannot be accidental that you find knowledgeable journalists. Uh, one of the things that I have seen is in Nigeria, there are um, politicians that are very, very good and very astute when it comes to one, either avoiding questions or put you on the back foot by asking you some silly questions that derail you. And there are quite a few of them who have been ministers in the past. But what we are looking at doing is developing those. Let me backtrack just a little bit and then uh, go back to my days when I was involved in hiring a few young journalists working for one of the media organizations that I had spearheaded. And I used to ask every single one of them that come for an interview, 
Which book was the last one you read? How many books did you read this year? If you come to my house, you will find that I always have one or two or three books around my bed. I'm not reading all of them. I can read one today and decide I'll read two pages of another one. But anybody who wants to be a very, very good journalist, and I can name names of quite a few that I have worked with in the past, and these are guys who always and who are consistently reading one thing or the other. Because there is no way you can do an interview and be super good at doing the interview by just studying the night before. Yeah. So you have to have had information and knowledge base based on the things you have consumed. It is what you consume that make up who you become eventually. Right. So in essence, what I'm saying is we have to encourage and train people. We have to give them that which it takes for them to develop. But they also have to make the effort to know that you read on a consistent basis. A journalist never stop reading. You're almost like a lawyer. You're studying all the time. You're reading all the time. You're consuming content all the time because there will come a day that it is that knowledge that you consume like three years ago, five years ago. Yeah. That's what will help you in the line of questioning that you would have. So that's what we want to do. I will encourage every single person that works at News Central to read. We're probably going to end up with a library of books in this place where people will read on a regular basis and will sit down maybe once a month and just have some tea, biscuit, coffee in the boardroom. And we have a very beautiful boardroom in this place. I'm so proud of this environment, the ambience of this place. It, it kind of like excites me. So I will sit down in a place maybe once a month for a couple of hours and everybody will just talk about the books they read and the things they've learned from it. And we share knowledge and we share experiences, which is one of the things you don't see in most media houses in Nigeria. We are going to do the unusual. There's not going to be the usual thing in here. I like that. And I like the energy with which you speak. <laughs> um, now, talking about reading books, in one of the books that I read some time ago, um, it, it did say that your quest to last should be stronger than your quest for fame. Mm -hmm. So um, looking at a new central as a TV station, um, how do we ensure what plans are in place to ensure that relevance, long-lasting relevance, that five years down the line, ten years down the line, were not that station that used to be, were that station that is still going stronger? How do we ensure that we remain relevant to our diverse audience? A TV station that is going to last and last and last and last as many times I can, as I can possibly repeat the word will be one, it has to be involved in investigating and finding out things. If you don't find out any new thing, then you're not doing your job. Journalists are members of the fourth estate of the realm. It's our job to find out information and to put it in the public domain for people to enjoy it or to find out and to have it as information that, in, that helps them in the decision that they will take. And that decision could be about the economy of Nigeria. It could be about the politics of Nigeria. It could be about health and well-being. And we're doing one of the things that I have always been looking forward to. We have hired a medical doctor that is working for us, that is within. And she's not a doctor that is going to be giving injection to people. She's a medical doctor, but she is going to be the one that spearhead our health desk, where we look at what affects the lives of people. I get worried every day. Just remember my days uh, when I was a kid living in Lagos Street in Ebutemeta. Just off the top of the street, there is a place called Primary Health Care Center. Now that place is gone. This was in the 1960s and 70s. I think by the 1980s, they sold that place, uh, made it some other property. I don't see primary health care centers in Nigeria that many anymore. You yeah. see the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, and then you see plenty of clinics that are owned by so many doctors who are going to be doing that to make money. Yeah. So we need health facilities, we need infrastructures, we need private health, uh, I mean, we need uh, uh, primary health care centers so that the lives of people will increase. Nigeria is one of those places that the average lifespan of any human being in this country is 52. 50 whopping two, and that's it. That means anybody like myself who goes beyond the age of 52 should be saying thank you, Jesus, every day. While be. our peers around the world are having an average age of about 75 as 
uh, the age within which they know they will live. Some 70, some 75, some even 80. But in Nigeria, if you live beyond 52, you should be celebrating and giving thanks, uh, doing thanksgiving every day. So we have to be able to speak to the government, let the government know the things that worry the people, let the people also understand how much power they have as citizens of this nation. Because if you know your power, you will be able to use it. If you know the extent of your ability to question government, Freedom of Information Act is no longer a bill, it's an act, it's a law that you have a right to ask questions. But if you don't ask the question, what do they say happens? You get no answer. So we are going to be the one that will tell them, these are the areas that you can ask questions. And this is where you should quote and say, I have a right to ask this question and I demand an answer as the citizens of this nation. But we are going to make sure that we are different. I am not looking for us to copy any TV station in Nigeria. That's not the intention here, because if we do, we'll be second fiddle to those ones that we copy. We need documentaries that will inform, educate, and uh, create some level of entertainment. We need content that is different from what everybody else is doing. We need investigative journalism. We need developmental. I cannot say enough of this. I worked in Ghana for about a year. And one of the things that I did while I was in Ghana was I, was, I got a, a team of reporters to work with me to say, guys, let's sit down and just analyze Africa. What's one of our biggest problem? Business. Days after. The governments across Africa said, let's come together and let's work together so that we can develop business. But if you want to travel from Nigeria to Niger Republic, uh, the journey, one of our reporters, I sent one of our reporters here at News Central to go to uh, Niger when there was a coup. You can practically walk through the border between Borno State. You can walk through another border in Katsina into Niger Republic and all that. They were like, border region that you can walk and you say, yep, I am there. I'm in another country. And that's it. You've crossed the border. But to fly from uh, Borno State to Niger, you probably have to go to another country and you pay a lot of money before you get to Niger. And then you're coming back. You still have to go to, in some cases, you fly all the way to Paris before you can come back to Niger. It's absolutely absurd. So we have to create a level of enlightenment. We have to put government across Africa under so much fire that will make them realize that this continent has virtually everything that we need. If only we will open our eyes and work together as a continent and do business together and do trade together, we don't have to be looking for trade with China, with America, with UK, with Europe. We can create enough business around the continent, and then the, G the GDP of the continent can rise and rise and rise, and there's nothing stopping us. So that's another, I just mentioned another part that I know that we're going to be doing, talking business, talking business. People need to understand. I'm breaking it down in the language that people know, they, that people can relate with. So these are the things that I'm saying we have to do better than others. Yeah. And I think it's very important that you did mention, you know, um, the freedom of speech, being able to ask questions and demanding answers, because a lot of people don't understand that um, in journalism uh, or journalists generally are like conduits between the government and the governed. So we owe them the truth, if not anything. Uh, but one last question before um, we let you go, and uh, that is um, still in journalism, there's so many requirements, but one of the major things are um, journalistic integrity as well as ethical standards. So how do we ensure, now we, we have talked about um, the TV station from a vantage point, but how do we ensure that our journalists and reporters and uh, broadcasters you know, uphold that ethic, the standards that are required of journalism? Um, I'm wondering whether I should do this or not. <laughs> okay, yes, I, I will do it, I'll do it, because uh, sometimes it's good to speak uh, straight from the heart and explain things as they are. Uh, when I came back from the United Kingdom, uh, the first job I got uh, that I worked with for five years was with, was with um, Channels Television. And I will always give credit, and I think I should give credit to Mr. and Mrs. Uh, John Momo, Mr. John Momo and Mrs. Shola Momo, because I remember very vividly that um, 
The first thing that both of them insisted on said, Kadi, you're now the general manager of operations, you're running channels, but please, whatever you do, make sure that every single one of your reporters, every single one of your producers, they speak the truth all the way, every single time. That if it is true, then there is nobody that can harass them, whether from the NBC or from the ICPC or from any of the government institution that has the capacity to use force or to harass you. But they can't if you're speaking the truth. And that has been a very strong foundation in terms of my practice of journalism in Nigeria. This is what I knew for almost 15, 20 years of living in the UK. But hearing it from somebody who is a business owner in Nigeria, it made me realize that, yes, it is possible. And we did that for five years that I was general manager of operations there. And I followed the same practice everywhere I have been. I've worked with Plus TV, worked with Arise News, worked with Metro TV in Ghana, worked with Original TV, so many other TV stations that I've worked with. I've always insisted, if we speak the truth all the time, empirical truth, as one of my young friends will say, yeah. you will realize that there's nobody that can question it. It's unquestionable. Once it is the truth, the truth will always remain the same. I know that on social media these days, some people will tell you, some of our young people, they'll tell you, oh, you don't understand my truth. My truth is different <laughs> yeah. from... The truth is the truth. It is the same thing everywhere. So if you have a version of the truth that is your truth, that's a different ball game. But when right. it comes to the truth, that's what we'll stay on. As right. far as News Central is concerned, we will speak the truth. We will be ethical. We will not say things just for the sake of sensationalism. We will say it as it is all the time without fearing right. whose ox is right. bored. Okay, um, Managing Director, Editor-in-Chief of New Central Television, Coyote Akitemi, may I just say congratulations on your new appointment. And as they say, may your reign be long. Thank you so much Amen. for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you.